I'm going to play through two scenarios. Uh, one scenario is both scenarios have compound walls. The second scenario, I'm going to break those compound walls up into parts. So here's my model in Revit. And then I have four walls. And that wall, those walls are, um, they consist of these eight layers. So let me zoom in here a little bit. So on the outside, I have some brick. Then I have above that wood siding. The inside, I have tile. And then above that, I have drywall. And then I also have a sweep. I've already exported this as a DWIF. And then I'm going to select those walls. I'm going to create parts. And then I also exported this as a DWIF. Over here in QTO, I have both models. Uh, this is the compound model that hasn't been um, placed in the parts. And this is the same model that has been placed in the parts. So uh, right now I'm going to activate the, um, the first model that wasn't um, put in the parts. If I go to the model tab, walls, you'll see that I have four walls. And then if I go to subcomponent, you'll see I have, I have two parts. That parts the wall, the assembly, all the parts in one hole. And this is the trim on the inside. If I hide others, you'll see as I pick through that, that's the trim, that's the wall. Back to my Documents tab. This is the same model, only it's been placed in the parts. If I go back to the model tab, you'll see now I now have 31 walls. What it's done is it's broken down all those all that all the walls into the parts of the walls. So for instance here, the tile, if I isolate others, you'll see just the tile. Show all. Same thing with the plywood. And every part of that wall. This is just the siding. Here's the stud. So if we were to bring these parts over to our estimate, the area of the mosaic tile and the area of the gypsum would equal the area of the metal stud. In this scenario, you have no way to know what's what, how much of um, tile there is compared to how much of the drywall there is. So that is creating compound walls in Revit, turning them into parts, and then bringing the model into QTO where you can access the subcomponents of that wall.